Okay, uh, YouTubers, um, this is an add-on to uh, my Harbor Freight utility trailer, the um, uh, Super Duty one that's uh, rated for 1,720 pounds, and this is just a swing back trailer jack for the tongue, it just makes it a little easier to store it, move it around with the tongue up off the ground, get it up and down off the ball, and um, this is an okay thing. Here's the uh, box for that. Part number is uh, 69780. Got it for about 20 bucks with a coupon at Harbor Freight. Goes on pretty nice. Um, and it's rated for a thousand pounds, which is more than enough for this, for this particular trailer. A um, couple of little gripes. Uh, as you can see, I had to put some uh, flat washers underneath the bolt heads because the smooth part of the shank that goes through uh, to the to the securing bracket on the other side is a bit too long so you can't quite tighten it all the way down because you run out of thread so I had to put the washers on there to um, to be able to use the bolts that came with it I suppose you could replace it with other bolts um, but I didn't want to do that this was a simpler solution and allowed me to use the existing bolts just a little bit of maybe a dollar for washers to fix that these are also much longer when you get them the bolts come out to about there you can see I cut those off after I finished the installation and um, you know just to make it a nice fit so you don't have you know big bolts hanging out um, this is a good jack for the money um, the only other little gripe I've got is when it's under load, you can see the, uh, the pivot joint wobbles around a bit. Um, it's not like it's going to break because the welds on there are very tough, um, but that's just kind of a minor minor annoyance um, that uh, I wasn't crazy about. Um, I would also note that the, uh, the universal spread here on these brackets um, I couldn't quite get it to fit on the um, on the lowest, the narrowest fitting, so I had to use the middle one, which left quite a bit of uh, excess. So the load uh, sits on the bottom bolt there, and there was a good inch or so of play above that on the standard bracket. So as you can see, I just uh, I just made a little spacer out of two by four painted it the same color as the frame so it's not as noticeable but that just fills in the space and makes sure that there's less chance that the brackets gonna move around because of the excess play between the trailer arm and that top bolt there um, other than that I think it's a great jack one thing I might also suggest so you get the benefit of both a, um, a rolling a rolling uh, jack there and a foot that doesn't move is uh, I made a box for um, for the for the for the wheel to sit in so that um, if I want to load it and I don't want the tongue end to move around here I'll just pull this up here put that in so you can see how that goes in there see the wheel just sits in the sits in the box there and the box is really firmly on the ground and uh, the trailer won't move if you're got it chocked and all that other stuff so that's about it I think it's a uh, it's an it's a great jack for the money and uh, you know with the wobbly part that's no big deal um, the rest of it worked out fine for me hope uh, hope you like it